Hey there YouTube, finally getting around to making an update of my motorhome and its systems, projects I've been working on. Um, start out with the gauge cluster here, pretty much the same. Uh, changed a few things, I've added this here, which is for a trickle charger. If I flip this on and it's my batteries aren't fully charged, this will come up to about 2.5 amps and trickle charge. This switch is for the solar. It runs it through the car charge controller in the up position. Center is off. Down bypasses the charge controller and puts it straight to the batteries. Um, biggest change has been in here. A couple new fuse blocks. Slow charge controller. The circuit for the battery charger right there. And I got this timer. It's a 12 volt timer in the trickle charger circuit that I can program for that trickle charger to turn on and off at whatever intervals I want. Then I got the 12 volt converter down here of course along with the 110 volt breakers. But the 12 volt converter, the way I got it hooked up, is controlled by a relay. And this push button is on the 12 volt side of that relay circuit and I just turned on the converter. Now both the now these blocks are separate. This is being powered by the converter. This is only the batteries. And there's a relay that separates them when the converter turns on. Now push the button. And lights blink. Converter turns off. Now they're tied together. Everything's being run off the batteries. Now, that 12 volt circuit that runs that relay is part of this master plan over here. It is powered by a power supply in the transfer switch box and that power supply only gets its power from either the generator or the shore power. And this indicator light shows that my shore power is good. Now, I've got the inverter on. This switch controls the transfer switch. Up when the red light is on is AC shore power or the generator. That depends on the selector switch out in the compartment. Now flip this off. Now the inverter is going crazy because the refrigerator is trying to run. Turn off the refrigerator. Now everything is being run off the power inverter which is mounted down here. In kind of a hard to see spot. Putting out 220 watts 12.3 volts goes out on this cord which runs to a, the outside compartment where the transfer switch is and as you can see even though the I didn't like the refrigerator running there computer still running my Wi-Fi router more to come on that later is still running goes to my Wi-Fi antenna, which I think you guys will like. And everything is being run off of solar right now. What little is coming in, we'll actually have that switch in the middle position, turn that back on. The gauge is gonna come up there. Only about two and a half amps. Not very much. But everything's being run off of solar right now. Or off the batteries in the inverter, I should say. Now, let's see if I can get a shot of it through the fan here so I don't have to go try to be discreet with this because it's my secret. That, you can see the back side of the dish out there. It's my Wi Fi dish. Now, the thing I got kind of set up on this, which I like, turn this on, you see this deal, antenna rotator, so let me see if I can do this at the same time and film it, there it goes, I got the remote pointed at the right spot.
Here, I'll go outside and give you a good view of it. There's the solar panel, and there's the dish. Except, I can't move it right now because the remote will not reach the receiver. But that whole deal there, fold down. So that will fold down and lay flat on the roof and I can drive down the road no problem, get to where I'm going, flip that bad boy up, point it wherever way I want to go. Internet access. Now I designed the system to use for the times when I go to Eastern Washington. Let me put it back to where it needs to point. Press the preset. Now it's going back where it needs to go. When I go to Eastern Washington, there's a company that offers internet, high speed internet service. And they have Wi Fi hotspots all over the place. Some are on, of them are on towers, some of them, of them are on top of buildings. And you just point your antenna towards one of them, sign up for their prepaid service, and you're online. So I've been out in places where even my cell phone doesn't work. Pointed that at one of their towers and I can keep in touch via Skype and it just comes in to this Linksys router running DDWRT. And then I got another Wi-Fi router there that makes a hotspot here in the motorhome. I've also got this one here that feeds back up to an, another antenna on the roof that if I want to I can turn that on and create a large hotspot and share internet access with anyone around me and I've done that before out um, relatively in the middle of nowhere you know off the grid had my long distance Wi-Fi set up and had someone camp next to me and shared my Wi-Fi internet access with them completely powered by solar totally off the grid so kinda of proud of that I am not advocating that you steal people's Wi-Fi I'm not saying that but allows you to get online pretty much wherever you need you know you're on the road stop at McDonald's you know get a cup of coffee or Big Mac or whatever and you can sit there in the parking lot even on the other side of the parking lot and be online Oh, and I just remember one other thing I want to show. There's my heater. That's my only source of heat since I pulled out the furnace, which was down there. It's never worked really good. I got this heater set up through a relay. This relay is controlled by this thermostat. See, I got it set, turned up to 76. It's, it says heat on, but the heater isn't on. That is because that relay circuit, once again, is only on when the shore power is on and the transfer switch is in the shore power position. That way the heater will not run off, try to run off the inverter. Now watch when I flip back over to shore power here. Heater turns on. The converter turns on to power the lights. It shuts off when it's on when I'm running off the inverter that way it doesn't create a wasteful loop you know trying to charge batteries off of a inverter running off the batteries that sort of thing the only thing I don't have set up with this system right now and I'm gonna be doing it soon is to get the refrigerator which is 110 only my propane refrigerator died get the refrigerator on a relay so when I switch over to inverter it shuts off and it isn't trying to run off the inverter because that just doesn't work very well. My inverter isn't good enough to do that. Before I say goodbye, I'll get one more shot here of the outside of the motorhome. I had a request a while back, someone who wanted to see the outside more. They had a Dodge Pioneer that was a different color scheme. And this has been painted at some point. I don't know when, but I definitely like it with the different color scheme. So. Take care, YouTube. Talk to you later.